What's up enthusiasts, it's your boy Rob, back with another video. Guys, today we're gonna to be doing something I've never done on the channel before. We're gonna be taking a look at a Kickstarter. What, what, a Kickstarter? Yeah guys, so instead of doing what you normally see, a lot of people cover board games and I think that's being done to death. Today we are going to be looking at a paint range, guys. Yeah, paint of all things. Knowing me, cause I'm a, what the kids call a basic bitch when it comes to painting, but uh, I thought you guys would find this interesting. So let's get into the video. This is a paint range that's going to be released by TT Combat. We are super excited because we are launching our new Kickstarter more than doubling our paint. First thing I'm gonna say guys is this guy's enthusiasm is off the charts. I'm glad that he's excited about it. Cause can you look at that face behind that paint? That's an excited man. This man is hyped about what he's about to give to you guys. So Range. our that. paints have been designed from the ground up and it has taken almost two years. What does that even mean when you say your paints are designed from the ground up? I mean, like I'm assuming they're just gonna buy this from like a manufacturer and just rebottle it, but maybe I could be wrong. Um, I, I'm a marketing guy. I've been in marketing for many years, marketing graphic design, and uh, usually we just use a lot of buzzwords to just repackage the same old things that pretty much any company can uh, have access to. But maybe this is different, guys, because I've never dealt with paint. So I've done with chemicals, uh, which I guess could kind of be like paint, but I've done with uh, pressure treating chemicals for lumber. So just a little background on me of testing and tweaking to get where we are today so two years is that two years co collectively or is that like two years just for this this launch of line of the paints we've used the latest paint manufacturing technologies to ensure a smooth finish excellent flow and coverage with great adhesion We've recently launched our first seven. I'm tr let's, okay. I was looking at the bottles and I was just like, that label's kind of basic for sure. But you know, I mean, it's it's a paint bottle. You know, you're getting it to use the paint. What's on it? What's inside of it? You know, not the label. But uh, I hope they've got some really cool names. Uh, looks like I see. Okay, yeah. So it's not just basic. Like, hey, this is bright red. This is not so bright red. They've got some little cool names, so. 92 paints and washes to retail and responses have been awesome. And now we're expanding the range. To cover the colors that we find ourselves wanting when painting our vast catalog of studio miniatures, we've got 108 okay. brand new colors to fill up your paint. So they got 108 colors. That's a 108 brand new colors. Let me get that correct. So um, that's a pretty broad range of uh, colors uh, that you can definitely get, get down onto your models. Um, oh, by the way, guys, this is not paid for. I guess I should have said that at the beginning. Uh, this is just something I found that I was interested in um, and I thought you guys would be interested in and we could just kind of watch together. So yeah, not paid for. I'm nowhere near that status of YouTubery. Um, so this is just me just showing you guys what I like. Paint racks and some handy extras to complement the range, which we hope to unlock via stretch goals. Okay. With multiple pledge levels to choose from, you can go all in and get everything or dip the tip of your brush. So for 275, I like getting a shit ton of paint. Excuse my language. Um, for me, a guy like me, I'd be basic again, just like I said earlier. I'm going to give you that. That's 40 euros. I don't know what that made. That's probably about maybe 50 bucks in US dollar, roughly somewhere around there um, for that 20 bottles of uh, paint and kind of see where I go from there. Because again, I'm skeptical when it comes to paint and I really don't think there's too much different between the brands. Uh, I think you got your cheap paint that you really need to water down. Um, and then you've got your expensive stuff that, that gives you a little more flexibility. But I think regardless of what you're doing, how you're painting, whatever you're painting with, just use a wet palette and I think you'll get passable results, you know, fairly good results. Just to test the waters with one of our smaller pledges. Our paints can be put airbrush. through an airbrush with 
EPs in conjunction with our airbrush thinner and flow improvement. So the dropper bottle does help for that. Now I have never airbrushed. My older brother used to do it back in the day, back when uh, airbrushing t-shirts was really cool. That was, he was really into that. We were, he was a teenager, we were both teenagers roughly. But um, other than that, I've never attempted to airbrush a miniature. So if you guys know of a place I can get a really decent airbrush for a reasonable price, let me know, because maybe that might be something I could look into doing on the channel. Um, and maybe I'll be better at it than just painting with a brush. But uh, I think that's pretty cool that you can drop the paint into a uh, airbrush, use some of their thinner, and use the airbrush. Due to the fine pigment and special formula, highlighting with an airbrush has never been easier. With a flat rate on global shipping almost anywhere in the world, our paints are within our reach paints. wherever you may be. These are just a few of our very yeah. own products painted exclusively. I mean, looking at these models, the paint looks very vibrant. Obviously, that's going to uh, depend on how your painting style is. And I'm sure the person painting this, I mean, as you can see, is... A, at least I give this guy's paintings, I give it like a seven, eight out of 10. Um, I've, se I've seen much better. I've definitely seen a lot worse <laughs> talking about myself and what I've done. But um, again, I love how vibrant the paints look here. Now, are they using some editing magic, some trickery to uh, make things look more vibrant? They could be, but for the most part, I think uh, what they're gonna be showing us is what we're going to be getting. Um, your results may vary with our colors. The success of this campaign will enable us to bring more products to our portfolio and better our capability to build our stock levels. Thank you so much for your support. All right, guys, so that's the video. Um, I'm going to scroll down through the page and just see what else they've got to show us. Um, and if you guys are interested, you know, jump on board. So it has seven days to go. I mentioned that earlier and looks like they're just shy of $22,000, which is pretty good for 126 backers. Um, that's enough to pay off my kid's car right there, man. So yeah, 126 backers, seven days to go. They are trucking right along. It's definitely funded. Uh, Cause it looks like they only needed what was that six grand, uh, six yeah six thousand three hundred thirty dollars. So let's get down to the page. So right here, they're just going to be telling us about the paint uh, designed by our team of painters from the ground up. So this is pretty much what he said in the video. Um, they're going to be offering you a new experience range of paint, uh, exciting excuse me range of paints. Oh, we are working with UK's leading independent paint manufacturers using the very latest in paint technology. What is the latest in paint technology? I don't know shit about paint technology. So guys, forgive my language. If you've got your kid watching this video with you, just tell them to just don't pay me any attention. Just you know, put earmuffs on your kids. Say, kids, earmuffs for the rest of this video. I'm going to try to refrain from using profanity. Um, and just stick to the script that I don't have. All right, so they're showing us uh, some miniatures from, uh, are those old GW miniatures? You guys let me know down in the comments. And this is the, so their core set of paints is, uh, they have 60 colors um, and 12 washes. Um, and they wanna make 108 more. So that's really cool. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Nothing stands out to me right now as a paint that I've, I'm like, I don't, I've never seen this color anywhere before. Um, you know, it's, there's so many com companies out there. You got uh, Citadel Paints, you've got Army Painter, you got Vallejo, which I think Vallejo is Army Painter uh, model paints. I think, I think Vallejo owns like all those companies as well. They just kind of release those under different manufacturers or under different uh, branding. Um, so there's kind of giving you the, the next 108 colors here. I like what they did. It on. I like how they did it on the dice. Um, instead of just kind of showing you a bunch of miniatures, it's kind of like simple and sweet. They give you the name of the different colors. 
Um, I like the lake blue. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay. We got some overcoats there. All right. Fool's gold. Fool's gold. That's the one. I'm, I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy me some fool's gold once this is released. And so thinning is something, thinning and washing um, is something I've never really messed with. Uh, I, well, I can't say I've never washed. Oh, like, like those like thinners that you can buy for the paint, I've never really had to mess with. But you guys let me know if that's something you guys do to your paints. I, I don't know. Is thinning the same? The thinner, is that the same thing as me using a wet palette? You guys can tell I'm such a noob when it comes to painting and being like <sighs> becoming a pro painter. It'll, I'll just never be a pro painter, guys. I'm sorry. All right, pledge levels. This is the stuff you guys really need to see. Um, you're getting these two paints right here. Uh, 17 milliliter paints. Uh, okay. That's five. Getting 20 paints for that $40 that we mentioned earlier. And the 108 paint set for $175. And so... I don't know how much you guys normally spend on paint. I've done a video before. Uh, if I remember, I'll make a card up there at the top. So I am a guy that will buy the cheaper in paints. And then again, using a wet palette, I will come up with, uh, with, I will come out with results that are good for me and what I do. I'm primarily a solo tabletop war gamer at this point in my life, um, but I do play D&D &D from time to time, and that's when I break out like a majority of the miniatures um, that I painted, along with pre-painted miniatures. And I'll tell you this, guys, as long as your paint just does not, your paint job doesn't look like pure dog crap, you or people around you won't really care too much. Now, when you're a great painter, people always point out that, hey, this is an amazing paint job. When you're just kind of in the middle, no one really cares. It's like, okay, you painted your models. They're not just bare plastic. Good. Let's get on the table. Let's roll some dice. And then if you're a terrible painter, I mean terrible, like you just took the model, dipped it in paint, and you threw it on the ground to uh, dry. And then that's when you'll get the other comp your other not compliments. You'll get the other comments about, hey, you really need to take some time with painting your model. But uh, again, they're going to be showing us some uh, more examples of their paint on the miniatures and i love the the gradient from the belly of this lizard to like his back that's that's a really good job they did there are you guys familiar with any of these models they've been showing so far is this like tt combat's like personal line of models other than the gw stuff i think we saw before um okay so this is the unlock so far Okay, they're giving you guys a free mini. Well, not free, I guess you're technically paying for it, and then everything else is locked up. Um, <laughs> so, come on, guys. They are, so, okay, this shouldn't this be unlocked, right? Okay, including a free starter set. Okay, so they're still showing us locked. Um, more GW miniatures, and then they're going into the add-ons. Looks like you guys can add on some paint brushes, and... I don't know. I, I don't see the paintbrushes being worth it. This one thing, this is the one thing, guys. I don't keep paintbrushes for that long anyway. I'll probably get maybe two or three days of painting out of a paintbrush and then I'll just pitch it anyway. Um, I tend to go to Hobby Lobby and get their craft paint brushes. You know, not the really cheap stuff that you see in like the kitty section, but like where the actual painting stuff is at, at Hobby Lobby. And I'll pay like $7 for a set of brushes. Um, and it'll come with like maybe, it'll come with maybe about, you know, six or seven brushes. So you're essentially paying like a dollar a brush. And, and it lasts me for a while. Again, I'm not painting like every weekend. I probably paint like maybe twice a month. And then I take a solid break from it for a while. Um, some varnishes. And then, ooh, paint racks. So if you guys are paint collectors, these paint racks could uh, be pretty helpful for you. So 
paint station. So I don't think I'd ever need a paint station. I guess you can just kind of lay things out. Do you guys have paint stations? I don't really get into all that stuff. I, I've got like a makeshift paint rack that's completely full of all my cheap paints, or I should say inexpensive paints, and some of my expensive paints, because I do have a few paints from uh, GW and Vallejo and stuff like that, game color. And airbrushing thinner. That's another add-on right there. $6. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Guys, I'm just scrolling down the page. Let's see. Some other paint projects they got going on here. All the stuff looks really cool. This executioner looks really cool. All right. So these guys are giving you guys a bunch of examples of their models. I don't know what games these are from. Guys. I, the only thing I know about TT Combat is that they use, they make the MDF stuff, and that's how I know them. I think I've got like maybe two of their um, MDF sets, and I don't really use MDF anymore because I got 3D printers, and I think that's all the jam. I'll be doing a video on 3D printing at some point. All right, guys, so that's the end of the Kickstarter page. So, guys, if you're in, the, in, in need, excuse me, of getting some paint, you want to kind of re-up your uh, your paint collection you try something new check TT combat out they uh, they've got their Kickstarter going seven days left this is not paid sponsorship by any means this is just me giving you guys some news that's out there in the hobby sphere so guys that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed rolling strolling str yeah we were strolling strolling through that YouTube or that Kickstarter page excuse me I'm so anxious to get to the end of this video guys go ahead hit like subscribe all that YouTube stuff and I'll see you guys again tomorrow mm -hmm.